your first alert forecast with meteorologist Laura Hartman, only on Fox 47 News at 10. All right, bust out your sweaters and your hand warmers because it is getting mighty chilly, especially for July. Here's hoping it leaves yes. as quickly as it came, right? <laughs> well, we're going to have to deal with this for at least a couple of days. It's going to be a slow uphill battle once we get to those cold temperatures. They're coming in quickly, so be prepared. At least you get the air conditioner giving it a break for a while. For those that don't have it, and it's like Mother Nature's air conditioner. You're going to love it. You're yes. always so positive. Trying to be. Let's <laughs> take a look at those high temperatures today. You'll see where the cooler air is. Look at the shades of green off to Minnesota, uh, Wisconsin, northern Wisconsin, and the UP as well. 64 in Marquette was the high temperature today. 64 also in northern Wisconsin. And that's some cool air moving right on into mid-Michigan. So the 80s and upper 70s we saw today are going to be gone for quite a few days. We're going to cool down pretty quickly. Tonight we're already at those 60s and low 60s at that. 63 in Lansing, 62 in Marshall, and 68 in Coldwater, and con continuing to cool down into the 50s overnight. Here's a look at those future temperatures down already into the mid 60s, so they're around midnight, but falling to the mid and low 50s. This is 5 o'clock, right around those lows, and then we pick things back up to just the mid and upper 60s for Tuesday. Very chilly temperatures. We've got winds gusting as well. Keep in mind that it's going to feel more like right around 60 at the high point of tomorrow with those additional winds. Temperatures are in the low 60s by Tuesday afternoon, and we continue to fall back down into the 50s once we get into the overnight. Lifting up from the 50s to right around 70 for Wednesday. Small amount of progress, but at least it's progress, right? And then we'll continue to make uh, strides in the temperature department each and every day just by a few degrees, though. You can see on the temperature trend, it's going to take us quite some time to get up to our normal temperatures for this time of year. We won't really be there until close to Saturday, and really that's still falling short of the low 80s that we're typically in. So be patient. We've got some cooler days ahead. But if you are really looking forward to these cool days, you're going to love them. Now, those cool days do come with some rain showers just for Tuesday mainly, but we've got a couple for tonight as well. Off to the north at this moment, we'll see those continue to remain just isolated for the overnight. Most of us will stay dry, but we've got this low pressure system. You can see this spinning motion off into our north. That's where the cooler temperatures were. That's what's moving on down into mid Michigan tomorrow and giving us a chance for those showers for Tuesday again. So we're going to see those showers sticking around. A lot of cloud cover tomorrow, too, and that's not going to help those cool temperatures. It's going to help us really stay cool and solidify the chilly temperatures into tomorrow's forecast. Now, Tuesday evening, we're starting to dry out as this low pressure system slowly moves off to the east. Wednesday, we'll see peaks of sunshine in these clouds, and uh, we may see a couple showers in the afternoon, too. But it looks like just a stray shower or two. We won't see too many for those afternoon hours. And then we start our dry period from about Wednesday evening on into the weekend. So we've got a lot of very nice days coming up once we get past these next two. 52 for tonight and cloudy. A couple of showers outside. Scattered rain for tomorrow, too. 67 for our high. Cool and breezy tomorrow. West winds and northwest winds are going to make it quite breezy outside. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. Once we get past Wednesday, things start to improve and we're seeing temperatures in and around 80 degrees on the weekend with a lot of sunshine too. And we take that sunshine into next Monday, 84. And Sarah, I have to tell you tomorrow, a unique phenomena coming up. We could see some water spouts on Lake Michigan. I've Whoa. got more on my Facebook page to let you know about those, but really cool. We usually don't see those until about the fall time. Very very cool to see. Hopefully we get one. Make Hopefully. the chilly weather worth it. Yes. <laughs> All right, Laura, thank you.